morning, everybody. Um, I join um, everybody who has been on stage, first of all, to congratulate the organizers of this conference. It's actually been a very good conference, an opportunity to have all of us who are in the value chain for sesame and peanuts across the globe to actually be able to look at um, the value chain holistically. As introduced, my name is uh, Irene Madeje Mlola. I'm the Director General for Cereals and Other Produce Regulatory Authority um, in Tanzania. This is basically, this is a regulatory authority that is responsible for uh, multiple crops uh, within Tanzania, within the food, food crops. Um, the main objective of today, me sitting here and presenting, is actually to be able to demonstrate to you the agricultural market development in the country and how the country is taking seriously its agriculture uh, development and the need to have developed uh, uh, various institutions which are taking its place in ensuring that Tanzania is actually going to continue to feed the world um, and to feed the world commercially. So COPRA was recently established uh, in order to oversee uh, crops that are already um, you know, covered over existing, that were not covered by existing boards. In Tanzania, we have existing uh, crop boards, but they were mainly just focusing on what we used to call cash crops in the past. But we left out beside all the food crops which needed to have um, a proper mechanism to oversee and actually see development. So basically, our vision, which is really the main reason why I'm standing in front of you, is to ensure that we are commercializing our food crops and ensuring that they are coming on the world stage with the quality that is needed and we are able to feed the demand that is existing in the world. So that's basically what we are doing, but we are working holistically with many other institutions, all from the public as well as from the private sector, to ensure that we achieve that objective. Um, the coverage of the produce that we oversee uh, cuts across from cereals, spices, horticulture, all seeds, pulses, as well as roots and tubers. And the regulatory regime that we are guiding is all the way from production, aggregation, storage, logistic, processing, import, and export. And that's why you can see we are here because we actually are here to making sure that we are enhancing the quality and boost consumer confidence. And this is basically what majority of you who are seated here, whether you are part of the value chain, whether you are a trader or you are a, um, an ultimate buyer, this is exactly what you need. And Tanzania is standing on the stage to telling you that we are so prepared, we are so planned, I mean, we are ensuring that we are bringing to the stage something that is needed in the market. In order to be able to do this, as one of our key responsibility, is to ensure that we are instilling the marketing guidelines that are ensuring that we have structured marketing systems that will enable Tanzania to open itself to the world, for the world to actually be able to do business with Tanzania in a seamless and holistic structure. So what we have done for this case of Sesame is to issue these marketing guidelines. Um, and in order to ensure the marketing guidelines are working, we have issued them collectively with other bodies within uh, Tanzania. These are other public institutions. And I'm proudly saying that the delegation from Tanzania today in this conference has comprised my colleagues from these other regulatory agencies that we are working holistically to ensure we're having a seamless marketing structure to ensure that our sesame, our peanuts, and other agricultural products are reaching the world stage within um, the structured way and uh, being able to reach there within the quality that is actually needed by the consumer. So we, have, we are working with um, Warehouse Receipt Regulatory uh, Board, and I'm proudly saying that we have um, the Chief Executive from the Warehouse Receipt Regulatory Board from Tanzania with us. 
We're also working very closely with the Tanzania Mercantile System, which is an online trading platform. And I'm proudly saying that we have Mr. Malekano at the back, also with us from Tanzania. And we are also working with the cooperatives. We don't have a representative from the cooperative, but this is a cooperative commission that is ensuring that the aggregation from the smallholder farmer is done in a way that is upholding the quality that is needed. The complicated diagram, which is very simple, uh, that you're seeing on the stage is basically explaining how the marketing system that Tanzania has actually deployed for Sesame is working. So the aggregation is done from the cooperatives, the smallholder farmer, once they have finished harvesting, they will aggregate it with the cooperative, and then immediately it is actually taken to the warehouse, and these warehouses are operating within a warehouse receipt system where quality is actually uh, you know, being um, uh, established, and grading and packaging is happening at that stage within the standards that are needed. And then immediately after that, a catalog is issued, and this catalog is actually sent to the Tanzania Mercantile System, where we have buyers within Tanzania and across the globe. And this is basically what I am here trying to encourage all people who want to do business with Tanzania. You are free, you can come to us and register yourself as a buyer that is interested to actually be able to trade within the system. So wherever you are, whether you are in Tanzania physically or you are anywhere in the world, you can actually be a member to participate in the Tanzania Mercantile System and directly buying goods that have been aggregated and they've been uh, properly looked after in terms of its quality and grading and sorting and all of that, and then you are immediately able to buy. So immediately after you buy, then you will arrange with your financials, and then the payment is done directly to the cooperatives, which is where the, um, the aggregation happened, and you can actually immediately get a release order that you are able to, uh, to take your goods. So this is a system that we've started, and it's gone well in terms of the sesame uh, season, which is now almost towards the end. We have been able to implement it in the six regions, which are the, uh, the areas where most of the sesame is actually grown in Tanzania. But this is only the beginning. We will, we will scale up across the rest of, uh, of Tanzania. But you can see what I've actually cycled in red. These are the prone areas where we get sesame. 70% of the sesame that you get in Tanzania are those premium, um, premi uh, premium uh, uh, from the southern region, which is famously, famously known as Lindy White. So 70% of the sesame that has been traded in the platform is actually uh, of this quality, and the rest is actually whitish as well as mixing, coming from the balancing regions. So this, these are actual statistics of what Tanzania has traded through the online platform that I've actually just explained up until now. So where we are going, as I, as I explained, we're very serious in Tanzania, and we are actually going to ensure that the country is positioning itself to having structured, formal ways in which we can actually be able to trade our agricultural products. Uh, we will continue as COPRA, together with other, the full um, uh, uh, value chain uh, actors, will continue to drive towards increase of production, whether it is through additional land as well as uh, yield. Uh, our target by 2030 is to reach the one million metric tons uh, production from Tanzania. And this is what we are promising on the world stage as well as we will work to ensure that whatever we are growing is meeting the demand that is actually needed by the customer. Um, introduction of price discovery, which is basically what we have just done right now, we will continue to do that across many, many other crops. As I'm seated today, our Tanzania mercantile system is already trading nine crops. And our plan is to expand that by region coverage, but as well as adi adding other, uh, other, other, other crops. Additionally, this is just one of the ways, but we will add additional alternative marketing systems, making sure that they're also operating under the regime 
whether it's a contract farming mechanism, future contracting, as well as promote direct buying for niche and high-end markets for Tanzania. In the end, we will be promoting coordination of all the actors, and we want to be able to ensure that we open up more markets for our products. For example, right now we are not able to bring our penis to, to, to China. This is our intention that we will work hard to ensure that we are opening markets, China and beyond, for Tanzania products. Thank you very much for listening, and we are available for further discussion. Thank you. As we say it in Tanzania, Asante sana.